Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to Pilot's Workshop. I thought I should also do a proper video about the cloud-shaped night lamp that I made for my nephew. I started this build by sketching the outlines on a sheet of 6mm plywood. I did this freehand since I wanted very organic and unique shapes and because it would go fast. I did a rough guess on how big I wanted to be and started sketching. The idea for this project came from my sister, who found a picture of a lamp like this somewhere on the internet and asked me if I could make one. And since that was all the information I had, I made up most of the details as I was going along. After I was happy with the look of the cloud, I cut the outside shape on the bandsaw and the small inside stripes on the scroll saw. I could have cut everything on the scroll saw, but the bandsaw was faster for the outside since I have it standing around anyways. For making the back side, I simply traced the shape on another piece of plywood. Because I wanted the back to be very airy, I only left a thin ribbon along the edge. Just enough to hold the spacers and mount it to the wall. And added a large section where the light bulb would go. I made it into a large round shape so that it would fit with the cloud theme and not look odd. The part I didn't plan for at this point was the mounting. I started out with the idea of only one screw in the middle of the lamp, but later noticed that this might not be enough to make the lamp hang straight. But more on that later. After the second frame was cut out as well, I went ahead with the spacers. I made them from 10mm thick plywood to give myself more glue surface, which would make for a more sturdy construction. I made them tall enough so that I could comfortably fit a light bulb in between the two layers with a centimeter of space on both sides. I didn't know how many spacers I would need and simply cut as many as I thought, which was okay since I was using offcuts and scraps anyways. Finally I made two wider spacers with the first one holding a standard bulb holder and the second one that would work as an outlet for the cable and hide the inner wires. After sanding everything, it was already time for the glue up. I didn't know the required distances for the spacers so that everything would end up evenly spaced, so I played around with that off camera. This way I could simply pick them up one after the other and glue them in place, which gave me enough time to also check each of them for squareness. This was really the most critical step of this build, and after that was done, I proceeded with drilling the necessary holes into the big spacers and glued those on as well. And here we arrive at the wall mount holes. Just before drilling this, I noticed that one screw holding the lamp in the middle might not be enough to hold the cloud straight, so I quickly made the decision to also drill two holes on the same height wherever they might fit. Then came the fun part of joining the two halves. I carefully put some blocks of wood on it to press the glue joints just a little bit and then made sure to pick up all the squeeze out that would later be visible. And so we already arrive at the final step of installing the bulb holder. After filming this, I noticed that it was still possible to pull the cable out of the bottom of the lamp and that way expose the inner wires. So I went back and tied the cable into this clip to make sure that that couldn't happen. Then the lamp was ready to be mounted on the wall. 
While no part of the build was shot to be synchronized with the music, the final one of me hanging the lamp and turning it on actually was. I placed the array of tools on the floor instead of filming all the preparations, since the music wouldn't give me enough time for that, and tilted the camera through them. Then lights off, lamp on. I hope you enjoyed this slightly slower explanation video. So see you next time. This is Pilot's Workshop, thank you for watching.